Hello everyone, got another squad builder for you to here today. Um, very nice squad actually, um, we really really enjoyed playing with this one, it's actually a, um, a very good skills squad. Um, so yeah, we'll get into the squad now. Um, in net we've got Helton, uh, he's a pretty decent keeper, um, one of the best Brazilian keepers. There's not a, sort of a great variety of Brazilian keepers, most of them are around 80, 81, 82. Um, he's pretty decent, I mean he's, he's pretty bog standard and he's only quite quite cheap as well so you can't really go wrong. Um, the middle centre back we've actually got Dede who's a very very solid centre back indeed. He's got some very decent stats, um, good player, um, very tall, he's again pretty cheap and for those stats every, everything you'd want above 80 and decent passing and dribbling to go with it so he's outstanding, outstanding. Um, the, the right centre back we've got Antonio Ferreira again very high pace 81 the same as Dede um, he's only a silver so his defending and heading is not the best but he's he's a pretty decent defender he's very tall um, very strong and he's he's uh, not too expensive so again another decent centre back there um, and then the left centre back we've actually got Chris Smalling who's a good uh, player I was a bit sceptical about him but we need him for chemistry and he's cheap and his pace is decent, defending's pretty decent, his heading's not so bad either, so he's actually going to be a decent player, I'm hoping. Oh, we hoped he was going to be a decent player, and he actually was. So, um, yeah, I'd recommend Chris Smalling as a sort of a fairly cheap, decent centre-back in the Premier League. And then at the CDM, we're going for Ramirez. Uh, we've used him before, and he was a big fan of his, and again, he didn't disappoint this time. He's got high, high work rates. Uh, not ideal at CDM, but he's got that pace and he's got good stamina so it works out for him quite well he's got very good all round stats his shooting's excellent uh, he's a very very good player indeed and the right CDM we've got Juste Delay very expensive player he's got 3 star weak foot 4 star skills um, he's good pace he's just very very solid all round 50k but for a Brazil it's not bad at all he's a very good player and certainly recommend him he's just an anchor in that defence and that's about what you'd want really and then left mid we've got Nani uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this guy he didn't get involved that much again I'm not big fans of uh, left mids and right mids they just don't seem to get involved enough for me I don't know whether it's just I don't use a wing so much or what but I think if I'm going to use wingers it's definitely better to be using either a left forward <coughs> um, or left wing or you know right forward right wing uh, they seem to get involved a lot more um, but <laughs> you know he did the, he did the skills he was a good player he's he, his build up play was good I did, we didn't really have a shot with him but um, we did score a goal with him so you know he was a good good player good player indeed um, sort of thirty five k which is a decent price really for a five star skill in the Premier League uh, he's a good player um, and then right we've got Inform Basufa he's a very good player um, you know in Inform eighty k he's actually from Team of the Week one so he's very rare so that's why he's quite expensive. He's in the Russian league again. He links up very nicely with um, Jusile, and uh, I do rate him. He's a good, good little player. He's he's very small, but he's his acceleration is very good, and he's very good out of skills. Um, yeah, I'd recommend him. He's a good, good player. Um, obviously, you could have Magidi if you're having a Russian league team. Alternatively, as a bit of a cheaper alternative, he's also four star skill, uh, five star skills, and he's actually a lot cheaper. So Magidi again, a good alternative. But Basufa did very well for us indeed. Uh, Cam, we've got Jadson. A uh, lot of people said good things about him, and I, I wouldn't disagree. He's a good player, and um, he's got five star skills again. So we've already got three players with five star skills. He's only seven hundred fifty coins, which is excellent for a five star skiller. Um, he's got some very nice attacking stats, and he certainly didn't didn't disappoint. He was a good player. He scored seven get goals, and which is pretty decent for a, a Cam. You know, in ten games, um, he, he's a good good player. And then at strike, uh, we've got Elkerson. Uh, his pace is fairly low, um, but you know he's actually out of pack, so that you won't find too many on the market. So we couldn't actually get one in a three-five-two. Um, but he is a good player. Um, you know he's 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 tall. He's pretty strong. He's got five-star skills. A good weak foot. His shot seems pretty decent. And as you can see, he's very very consistent attacking stats, and he did well for us. He was a he was a good player. And then at the um, Right strike, we've got the, probably the star of the team is Wallison, uh, probably one of the best Brazilers in the game. Uh, very, very good pace, he's pretty strong. The five star skills are just excellent to have on him. Um, he's got a lot of nice skill goals with not just him but um, the whole team. And 
it was it's such a fun uh, squad to play with. You know, if you're not too bothered about winning, I mean, we didn't we didn't actually lose a game with this squad. Um, we played about well, as you can see, ten or eleven. I think it was ten games, uh, and and we didn't lose a game uh, with this squad. And we were doing a lot of skills and things. So, you know, you can win with it as well as doing the skills. So it's really fun. Uh, one thing I recommend with five star skillers just do scoops just do scoop turns they, they're so effective they're really difficult to defend against um, yeah, it, they, they work so well and you know they they, they seem very overpowered in this game and uh, even if the even if the defender sort of reads what you're going to do a lot of the time they won't tackle you um, and you can score a lot of decent goals um, that way um, and it just gives an alternative to you know, sort of running down the wing and crossing it. You know, you can cut inside with a scoop turn or maybe throw in a flip flap here, here or there, a roulette or whatever you want. Um, it's just nice to add a bit of variety by doing a few skill moves, and they do um, they do provide nice goals as well. So you really can't go wrong with this team at all. It's pretty cheap, you know. Very very good squad. I really really enjoyed it. Um, me and HS Farming, we both played with the squad. Um, it, it was it was exceptional and for. A fairly decent price. I mean, obviously you could have a few cheaper players. You could have McGeady at right mid, and then have a a different CDM. I don't know, uh, maybe Yam and Villa or somebody like that, just to make the team a little bit cheaper. And then instead of Wallace, and you could have, uh, you know, you could have Jadson at strike and put maybe Ronaldinho at cam. So you could make it into a hundred k team quite easily. And it, it, you know, even if you're not a skiller, it's a good team. And if you are a skiller, you've got everything you'd want. Uh, just showing you actually have actually got McGeady. Uh, he's part of the Russian league team, but um, again, very good alternative. And uh, I just hope you enjoy the goal goals at the end, because we certainly enjoyed making the video for you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you in a bit. Go!